We're going to take you on a journey to the end of the earth to show you a place that might someday save humankind. It's a bank built to last 10,000 years. Important assets were made safe from climate change and nuclear war, locked deep inside the Doomsday Vault. Head toward the top of the planet over the freezing Arctic Ocean and you'll find a collection of ice-covered islands called Svalbard, Norwegian for cold coast. They're due north of Europe, administered by Norway, and among the last bits of land before the North Pole. On the outside, it looks like a concrete wedge pounded into a mountain. Walk through the door and cross from a hostile wasteland into a safe house for humanity. Well, I've got to say, it looks like a doomsday vault. <laughs> it probably is one. <laughs> At least we think if there are any uh, big problems on the outside, uh, this is going to survive. This was clearly built to last. We, we built it to last as long as we could imagine. I don't know what was in the minds of the people who built the pyramids. Um, maybe they were building to last forever, too. But I can't think of anything that's been built in our lifetime that's been built with this kind of time horizon. And all these pipes over our heads? That's the refrigeration units. Re the refrigeration? Yeah. We're 700 miles from the North Pole? <laughs> we are. And you're air conditioning this place? We're going to freeze it even further. Freeze it that's colder right. than the permafrost, well, so that if the Earth warms and the power goes out, the vault will stay frozen for another 25 years. What's in these boxes took 10,000 years to develop and 70 years to collect. Now, they were loaded for the last mile to Fowler's frozen Fort Knox. These are air airlock doors. It keeps the cold air in. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty big. <laughs> so the foundation of humanity ends up here. It's about 30 yards long, it's about 10 yards wide, and 5 yards high. Inside the boxes that came off the plane are millions of silver envelopes. Show me what's inside. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at these two. Course, they're going to be sealed in the boxes, but uh, here's one sample. What are they? Well, these are chickpeas, or garbanzos. This is a crop you ought to know. Wheat? Wheat. Very good. So what's in all these envelopes is? Seeds. Mm -hmm. This is a giant vault built in the Arctic just to house seeds. That's right. It's a seed bank. If you could clear away the ice, you'd see that, officially, the bank is called the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. It's built to warehouse backup copies of all the world's crops, one and a half billion seeds. Everything from California sunflowers to ancient Chinese rice. If an asteroid strikes the Earth, seeds to restart agriculture would come from here. 